one of the biggest stories, stories. right now, Cynthia mm -hmm. Morgan and Judo Koe. So we have a guest with us that I feel like would be able to add more, like I said, jush to this conversation, mm -hmm. and that is Yemisi. Hi, Yemisi. Hi, guys. How is it Hi. going? How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you too? Well, yeah. so obviously as an entertainment lawyer, this is something that we feel like would be, we, it won't be complete without you. So obviously I'm sure you've heard about everything that's going on right now. Um, do you think Absolutely. that uh, she should have brought this to social media? Let's start with that. Well, like I always say, um, social media is not a place to fight legal battles. Um, if you want clouds, if you want to appeal to um, your followers' sentiment alone, then you can do social media. But if you want the real battle, if you want to, if you want to fight your legal battle properly and win, social media is definitely not the place to do it. Mm. You go to court, hire a lawyer. If you have any issues with anybody, not only I mean for everyone in the entertainment industry alone. But for everyone else, if you have a battle with anyone, if you have an issue with anyone, if anyone has cheated you, there are laws guiding stuff like that. Go to go to court, get a lawyer to represent you in court, and you know, um, seek redress in court, not um, not on not on the internet. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah, me see, Um When this story first broke out, there were several reactions from different. On music executives and record label owners. For you, right. I want to know your opinion. What do you think about the Judo Koye and Cynthia Morgan um, um, matter? Some people are on Cynthia Morgan's side, some people are on Judo Koye's side. As an entertainment lawyer, where do you stand? I stand on the agreements they both signed. That's the only thing that is correct. Cynthia is wrong. Judge is wrong, but whatever the whatever whatever agreement they both signed is right. Now, if mm. Jude is complying with the provisions of the agreements that they signed, then Jude is right. Mm. If um, Cynthia Morgan is complying with the um, provisions of the agreements that they both signed, then Cynthia is right. Mm. Um, the purpose of agreements is so that both parties understand. Um, their rights and obligations, duties and expectations of each party. Now, if each party complies strictly with um, the the provisions of the agreement, then you can't you can't you can't fault that party. Now, it is not any party's fault if you haven't sought legal advice, if you haven't consulted a proper lawyer who is vast in the industry where um, um, both parties uh, are regulated then it's not the other party's fault. If you sign an agreement that you do not understand or an agreement that you do not um, um, know what the outcome will be or you don't understand your obligations in an agreement and you sign it, then it's nobody's fault. You know, like the well, say, just to um, chime, ignorance chime is not an excuse statement. in law. Sorry to cut you off there. Just to chime on that particular statement that you made, it seems like the legal um, legal parties and the people in the business are seeing this uh, Cynthia Morgan's outcry as a PC party in the sense that they think that Jude is, has to be, um, you know, be performing in, the, in his rights according to the contract and everything. Do you think that it is possible for artists to be well, I say naive in the sense that they're not really aware of, um, what, of what these... Because I, I know sometimes I write contracts, I'm like, what does this even mean? Do you think that maybe um, it, it is possible for you to I'm sign a contract that you don't fully you. understand? I'm sorry to you, but I don't pity any artists. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes we can. We can. All right, cool. So I don't pity any party, any party to an agreement who doesn't understand the content who doesn't understand the implications of the agreement he or she has signed. There is no way on earth that I can pity such person. Mm. I have said it a billion and one times over and over on all platforms that I've been able to say it, get a lawyer, get mm. a lawyer, get a lawyer, get a lawyer. Yeah. Now, if you think, and I don't think it's um, the artists have been naive, 
for me, I think they are more of being desperate. Mm. And when you when you when you act in desperation, trust me, it will never end well. Mm. I watched I mean Jude's interview, and I remember him saying he didn't even want to sign Cynthia Morgan. Cynthia and her then manager Joy Tongo literally forced Cynthia on him. Mm. Whether or not it's true, I'm not sure. But that's what Jude has alleged. Yeah. If it is true, then I'm sorry, I don't pity anybody. You yeah. have to bear, it is high time artists started to bear the consequences of, of delving into, into, into um, things without a lawyer. It yeah. is high time. I think it's At the, co the corner of my heart, honestly, I am happy. Yeah. It's interesting that you actually mentioned Cynthia Morgan's lawyer because, like we said before, that Cynthia Morgan's um, um, our manager, rather, a manager was not even on her side. A manager said that they were the ones who drafted the contract and they gave it to Jude. Mm. And so, I don't. I guess from all of this, when we evaluate everything, it feels like this yeah, is does. a pity party yeah. because when you look at it legally, there is nothing to fall to yeah. Jude Okoye on. He's just trying to follow the contract. And I guess yes. to, to chime in on that, is I've now not the your agreement. Thoughts. I've not had the opportunity. I've not had the opportunity to review the agreement. Mm. Um, Although some record labels actually um, they take the fact that artists are desperate for granted. Oh my god. Right. Oh my god. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. All right, cool. So they take the fact that artists are desperate, they take it for granted. You know what I mean? So because artists are desperate, because artists are ignorant, they take all these factors for granted and they do some horrible things. I mean, how can how can an artist create a stage name for him or herself? And you as a record label assign the rights to that name to you. What does Don Jazzy, for instance, want to do with Rema, the name Rema, after if Rema leaves Maven? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. How, how relevant is the name of an artist to a record label. Right. It, for me, it doesn't make sense. There are so many other ways yeah. you can, you know, exert your 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 rights in an agreement as a record label. You can decide to own the masters of the songs. Yeah. You can decide to own the copyright in all of the songs for the life of the for, for the life of the song. Yeah. There are other ways. I do I find it absolutely ridiculous for a record label to lay claims on the name. Of, of his artist. or yeah. of, of of its artists, it doesn't make sense I mean, to me. It, so you know, um, as much as artists are, can be desperate, some record labels too can be very mean. Yeah, they can all but I won't blame the record label. The feeling that Still. is common amongst a lot of the other um, legal parties that we have spoken to that they're yeah. tired of the, um, I guess you can call it mismanagement on both parties because mm -hmm. it's been, it seems like it's very, it should be straightforward if people are sticking by the laws and everything. Yeah. But thank you, Yemisi, for joining us today and spending a few minutes thank of you. your time with us on this topic. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me.